Okay. Had to refresh Stell said it was hosting. Alright, sorry about that. Good old hosting. Uh OBS is behaving on my end. Yes, it is. Looks totally fine. Alrighty. So hopefully Louisa can watch this in case she's uh, stuck bored at work. I'm excited to get back to this game now that we're out of the prologue. Uh, I'm curious to see how the actual storyline and the romance is gonna work out. Yeah, I don't know why you were having so much trouble, Sign. I don't know if it's like a Romania thing, like your uh, the location, the signal was not going through well, or or what, you know. Yes, we're going for Yuri first, um, and then probably Lance, and then we'll do Yonho, and then after we're done with the three of them, we'll be able to unlock the other two. My darling Reto. <laughs> the Chewy situation, so you guys know what I've been going through lately. I'm really tired, honestly. He's, he's done all right. He had a rough day today because I had my occupational therapy for my elbow. And he apparently really hates being in the car. I think he actually gets car sick. So he threw up like three or four times. Um, so that wasn't too good. I felt really bad for him. And he didn't want to go into this little uh, crate carrier thing. And God, did he... <sighs> He kept jumping on me, and, and his nails were really sharp, so my, my legs are all scratched up. And he was just so anxious. I felt so bad for him, but he was being really stubborn. So, I don't know. I mean, tomorrow and Friday I have appointments. Um, we're just going to have to leave him at home in the cage and pray that he's able to hold it. Because otherwise, there's no way he can handle going in the car again if it's going to make him sick like that. And uh, right now we're still not sure if that person really is his owner or not. There's some things that make us a little suspicious. So we got to wait and see when it comes to that. Um, so I'm not sure if he really is Toby or if that person really authentically is his owner, you know. No, Poker Girl, unfortunately not. Don't have anyone like that. Ah. To change the location of. Was it your stream key or something? I, I'm not sure, so I'm, I'm not really tech savvy. Okay, so let's continue. Hopefully, um. Oh, well, thanks to, um, Vap. It was Vap last time who showed me how to save and all of that. I really appreciated that she did that. <laughs> thanks to her, we should be good now. Okay, so we're on new routine, the common route. Honestly, yeah, Poker Girl, I, I don't trust him. I have a feeling he's going to leave a big mess. So, that's not going to be fun. <sighs> ah, ouch! My back hurts a bit. Did I sleep wrong? I turned off the ringing alarm clock and got up from bed. Well, that's why we're leaving him in the crate. In, in his his little doggy cage. That's why <laughs> you never leave a dog alone at home until they're a hundred percent trained. But he's gonna be in the crate. He's gonna be sleeping, hopefully, or crying probably, because he seems to have a huge issue with separation anxiety. Like. At one point, Mom had to uh, leave us in the car, and she went to go do something in the garage, 
he freaked out and that's when he scratched me a lot um, so yeah the separation anxiety is definitely going to be a, a major issue we never had that issue with Kiba whenever we would leave he would be sad but he would just go and, and go to sleep <laughs> sometimes we'd come home and he'd be asleep still okay uh, I said this right I was awake but my head was still drowned in sleep wish the classroom was right beside our house or actually living inside the classroom wouldn't be so bad then I wouldn't have to go to school wouldn't I unless you take online classes like I did for college <laughs> well for my the last college I was at the first college was in person mostly then I won't worry about being late Ugh. I should stop having useless thoughts and start getting ready to head out Looking into the mirror, I tidied my hair. My hair was frizzier than usual from the sleep. And, as always, I turned around and said hi to no one. It's already been a week since I started going to school with the dolls. I didn't even notice the time pass by because I was so busy from trying to settle this and that. Before even getting used to eating with this many people, I have to get used to a boisterous way to school. One day, my dolls came alive, and now I go to the academy with them. Every day still feels like a dream, so every morning I pinch myself, and every time I feel the same thing. Pain. And stop doing it, <laughs> dumb girl. I was saying good morning to the dolls, as I always did, when the door opened without a knock. Rude! She's like, what the frick? Yeah, heroine! What? She just woke up. What do you mean give me food? Red? Come on, boy. <laughs> hey, heroine. Give me food. Really? Of course, it was Red who barged into my room without a knock. The one who interrupted my sacred ritual of greeting the dolls was a doll. Feed me! <laughs> Feed me, Seymour! Yeah, that's a really interesting movie. Gosh. It actually makes me sad sometimes, though. But it had some really good music. At that thought, I suddenly woke up from my lingering sleep. I look at the doll I was saying hi to, and the man standing in front of me asking for food. You change the star where you'll do a test tomorrow? Okay, hopefully that helps. This really is a surreal and exciting moment. Ah! Food! Go bother Tay. He's the chef, apparently. <laughs> the, the housewife. Or house husband, I guess is the term. If it weren't for that wine coming out of his mouth... And what? Heroin? Who dares to barge into a girl's room without knocking like that? Disgusted, I instinctively threw whatever was near my hand. Hello? Yeah, yeah, it's second. Wait, <laughs> hey! Wait, what are you throw? Ouch! After being hit by a huge pillow. Wait, that shouldn't have hurt. You fool. He fell down hard. After Red fell down, I saw Yonho behind him, scared. Master, uh, it wasn't directed towards you. Calm down. Master, good morning. Please don't hurt me. I'm innocent little cutie pie. <laughs> or am I? According to Justin, he's a manipulator, so... Finally, someone gave me a proper morning greeting. I could tell by him peering towards Red that Yonho was being scared of me. Oh, hi Yonho. Had a good night's sleep? Why are you standing there like that? Come in! What? Okay, then. Why does it sound like you have food in your mouth, Red? And here he was pestering me for food. What the hell? <laughs> and there's Poker Girl whipping Justin. <laughs> hey, heroine! Aren't you being cruel? This is doll discrimination. 
Yeah. Oh, it was smothered in the pillow. Okay, but he had food. I was like, what? <laughs> Red complained with his face smothered in the pillow. You got what you asked for, but what's with that weird title? <sighs> oh, that's... <laughs> Red threw away the pillow and got up. Looking at his sparkling eyes, I could tell he already forgot about the pillow. Okay, he's really adorable. <laughs> uh, didn't you see the TV? TV! The person who's always by the Justice Warrior's side. The heroine! The damsel in distress who's always held hostage by the villain and cries out for help. You'll give Yonho the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you would have laughed if she threw her undergarments at him without thinking in the hilarity. Justin, I, I, I actually had that thought. I was like, what if she throws something, like, scandalous at him on accident? <laughs> Street Skater, welcome to the stream, and uh, I did notice you followed me recently, so thank you for that. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your time here. Red said out loud, triumphantly. The commander in chief said that I can't become a true warrior unless I have a damsel in distress. But you're the only girl in this house. So I decided yesterday night. How are you going to win her heart if you're saying, oh yeah, you're the only girl, so I guess I'll pick you? Like, <laughs> like seriously? <laughs> Red. Boy, I love you, really, but. No. <laughs> no. And you're right, Justin. Lewd minds do think alike. Pizza time? 축하한다! 넌 오늘부터 히로인이야! 앞으로 나와 함께 이 지구의 평화를 지켜내는 거야! Congratulations! You are a heroine from today! You and I will defend the Earth from now on! He acted like... I want a prize or something. <laughs> that's probably why, yeah, if he watches that much TV, that's probably why he sounds like that. His favorite uh, shows are like game shows or something. <laughs> He's like, yes, I'm a winner. The price is right. I guess Red only looks for the right gender in a heroine. Oh, you've been subbed to me on YouTube for a while. I thought your name looked familiar. Okay. Never got the chance to go to my streams to work. Well, thank you for coming. I'm glad you could make it. I probably should do some stuff on YouTube, like have an end card or whatever and have tell people, yeah, you should sub to my Twitch if you want to see it live rather than when I upload it on YouTube. Maybe I'll do it someday. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll try to be a proper YouTuber. Oh, speaking of YouTube, uh, Sign, you saw that uh, today's V3 episode? Um, <laughs> a few interesting stuff happened in today's episode, I believe. Such as what I was apologizing to you for uh, regarding <clears throat> my suspicions. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, that moment with Kokichi. Louisa, darling, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. You didn't miss much. Just Red being an idiot. No audio? For what, the game? Is the game too quiet? Right now, it's just a really quiet uh, music. It's just Louisa. You scared me. I didn't want to have the music too high like it was that one time when I first started the game. Oh no, so Louisa didn't hear me saying, Louisa, darling. Hmm. Okay, I think.
think I said this line already. That he only looks for the right gender in a heroine. Besides, considering that he asked for food from a heroine, he mustn't know what a heroine really is. Yeah, a heroine is usually the one who kicks ass and takes names in place of a hero. It's like, who needs a guy to do the saving? I can save myself, and I can save everyone else. <laughs> that's, that's what a heroine is, you know, like Lara Croft. How is that game going for you, by the way, Justin? I know you're still streaming it. Was it this past stream that you had to cut short because you were helping your grandpa, right? Even if I'm not there watching all the time, I do peek in from time to time. And I always uh, keep tabs on what you're up to. I'm like, hmm, gotta keep an eye on Justin. Let's see what he's doing. And I'm just so sad that poor Sign's stream didn't work, but hopefully it will work next time. Yeah, you didn't make any progress. Okay. Well, good luck fixing it, Louisa. I want you to be able to enjoy. Should I tell him that it's at least not someone who gives him food? Ah, <sighs> all right, all right. But what's with the commander in chief? Who's that? Oh, 내가 말안 했던가? 페이지. 총사령관은 페이야. 참고로 거기 쬐끄만 녀석은 옐로우다. Ooh, are we playing Power Rangers? Let's play Power Rangers, boy. When I was young, uh, depending on what season was on. I would either want to be the pink ranger, or then I, I was like, okay, no, I'll be the yellow ranger because she's cooler and she's not always a damsel in distress. And then as I got older, I was like, but I don't like pink and yellow. I want to be like the green ranger. <laughs> uh, we need to delete the VOD. Okay, no problem. Princess Peach. Fred has seen too much Power Rangers. Uh, sometimes I miss those days. Power Rangers. Some of those seasons were really good. Like, I was just telling my mom recently that um, some of the storylines in Power Rangers almost felt like it was like a soap opera. Like, it was really dramatic with amnesia and long lost siblings and then the romance. I'm like, little kids be watching this stuff? <laughs> I feel like it's more like for preteens or teenagers. Uh, young teenagers, but not, not like 17, 18. You giggle at that part because I knew the truth and the despair. Oh, okay. You're talking about the V3 video. <laughs> the despair. Ugh, Kakichi, darn you. <laughs> you mean your own Power Ranger OC, a blue suited badass who can really unleash heck. Cool. Yeah. Power Ranger show about trains. Okay. It's Japan, so I don't question anything anymore. <laughs> oh, didn't I tell you? You know Tay. He's the commander in chief, and that little guy over there is yellow. I'm just imagining Yonho is like, ah, Ranger Yellow, yeah. And he like tries to aim a kick or a punch and he just completely fails. He's like, oh no, I'm too weak. <laughs> That'd be pretty adorable actually. Dino Thunder? Oh, that's the season that um, Tommy Oliver came back. That was that was pretty interesting. It was a good season. They were not my favorite season, though. Mm, hard to say which one was my favorite. Maybe In Space? Uh, that was the first time I felt thirst, I think. For Zane. Uh, he was, what, the Silver Ranger? I forgot. I think he was Silver. He was so he was so smoking hot that even the bad lady turned good for him. <laughs> That's how you know thirst, okay? <laughs> my first thirst. Give Tay the voice of our current commander in chief. Oh my god, Justin, no. That's not even funny. No. My god, Tay, a commander in chief. But I guess Tay would half chokingly participate in Red's pranks. But why Yonho? <laughs> Uh, because I want to toughen up and become more manly for you. Like, okay, good luck with that, string bean. I turn my head to see Yonho make the bed. Hearing he's a part of it, I can already just see his future suffering. Just a prank, bro. <laughs> Yonho, did you really agree to be yellow? Uh, huh? Yeah. 
questions, otherwise he'd never shut up about it. Yeonho smiled awkwardly. Ah, oh, I like yellow. It's a warm color. God, nowadays, when I see yellow and all I think about is pee. Look what you've done to me, Chewie. You've brainwashed me. <laughs> uh, I feel like my life just revolves around taking this dog out to pee. Still find it crazy that Johnny Young Bosch was a Power Ranger? Yes! It was like the opposite for me. I found it crazy when I found out he was a voice actor. I was like, what? But now I'm like, ugh. Gosh, back in the day. I, I thirsted over him when he was the Black Ranger. But now I'm like, extra thirst just because of the voice acting. I was like, oh my god, you're Ichigo. And oh my god, he's Rantaro. Rantaro. Mmm, don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow is your favorite color. It's a nice color, I just can't wear it. Like, I know it looks good on my skin tone, but sometimes I'm like too bright. I don't know. I don't have any yellow clothing, actually. No, there was a yellow male ranger in another season. I just can't remember. Dang it. What season was- it was one of the samurai ones? Ninja Storm, I believe. The, there was a cute guy. He was... His name was Dustin? Ugh. No, we can't keep talking about Power Rangers, you guys. You can't. Don't get me started. I'm gonna start listing all my bays in those, <laughs> in those shows. He has the voice to make us melt. Yes, he does. The AV room? Uh, I will check later when I'm not streaming, especially because I'm concerned that it's going to be something that will either make me thirsty or, <laughs> or make me go on more tangents. He's also Lelouch in Code Geass, yes. Okay, he said he likes yellow, it's warm color. He didn't seem so sad to be the scapegoat of Red's prank. Anyways, I'm just asking, the reason Yonho's yellow it's not because his hair is yellow or something lame like that, right? Oh, welcome back, Louisa. Favorite Power Ranger? Ugh, I can't. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, my first thirst was Zane. And of course everybody loves Tommy, but honestly he wasn't my favorite. I guess I'd have to say my favorite of all time would be Kimberly. Come on, whose favorite was it, Kimberly? She was freaking awesome. <laughs> He'll always be Hajime Hinata. I never loved Tommy. I actually preferred Jason. And then as I got older, I was like, you know what? Billy was pretty cool, too. He was so underrated. <laughs> the nerdy smart guy, you know? Rocky was a good... Mm. And of course, Adam. Yes, but... But Zane will always be my number one thirst. My thirst crush. See, I'm trying to stream a game and you, I always end up talking to you guys about everything else, don't I? <laughs> it's fine. This is actually the purpose of live streaming, actually. Just to interact with chat. Your original favor was Billy. Okay, cool. Louisa, I approve. Yeah... I'm sure he did. More kid rangers. That was a whole weird thing though, the fact that he was a kid and then suddenly he was a full grown man in the suit, like come on. I know why they did it, but it's just ridiculous. Ding dong ding. Really? You made him the yellow ranger just because of his hair color? Well, you are the red ranger, right? With your red hair. <laughs> Bingo! You really are the heroine. So smart. Red even clapped while laughing. Red's simplicity is almost ador admirable now. I was going to say adorable, which it is. But I smiled to see him so energetic this early in the morning. Hmm, so Yuri is black and Lance silver? But doesn't black always die and silver betray? What? That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Where did you guys come up with that idea? Seriously, I've never seen... When has Silver betrayed? Okay, whatever. Don't talk bad about my Zane. Homo 
homophobia. Oh, was the real life actor gay? I didn't know that. That makes me like him even more. Got a color code. Come to think of it, Yuri does seem like he'll meet his end after getting up to something by himself. Yeah, last stream I was so suspicious of Yuri. I still kind of question. And Lance will coldly hand them over to the enemy just to be left alone. <laughs> Why are you guys playing around when you were simply supposed to wake her up? Do you want? Do you all want to be late? Oops! I got caught up in Red's prank without knowing. I never realized time passing by when I'm with Red. <laughs> Violent? <laughs> what, from me throwing a pillow at you? Seriously? I was teaching her the mindset of a heroine, but Commander, she's a bit too violent for a heroine. Is that okay? She looks like she'll escape by herself from the monst- Uh oh. <laughs> As I pretend to look for something else to throw, the warrior of justice hid in the corner. Cute. walking fashion disaster has arrived, that's true. I'm sure they have to be trained. That makes sense. Actually, never mind. Yep, I don't want to die. Alright, I got you. Red, go wash. If you go on your rescue mission like that, the heroine will mistake you for another monster. <laughs> I can wash after I eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> Tay knows how to handle him. <laughs> it's an order. Now, march to the bathroom. <laughs> How old are you, Red? Really, I mean, I know you're a doll, but come on. <laughs> Ugh, not fair. Can't believe you're ordering me right now. It was you who appointed me as the commander. Red looked dejected, but soon followed Tay's order and he headed to the bathroom. Now I see that Tay took part in Red's prank to handle him. Very smart. Ugh, <sighs> 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 can't believe it's this difficult to make him wash when he's not even a child. Hmm, let's see. How about Yonho? Tay's become everyone's parent. As soon as, soon as Yonho's name was called, he held out both his hands. That's something a kid would do too. Like, look, mommy, my hands are clean. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I washed myself as soon as I woke up. <laughs> okay, good boy. I wouldn't be this annoyed if everyone is like Yonho. My god, almost like he's a dog or something. Tay went over to him and stroked his soft hair. And Yeonho smiled happily. I was seeing a mother and son. It's adorable, really. You have to get ready too. There's not much time left. I was just about to. If someone hadn't agreed to become commander in chief and excited red like that, I was completely baffled by red barging in as soon as I woke up and talking about heroines and commander in chiefs and whatnot. I stared at Tay since it was he who told Red all that. <laughs> who is that someone? Not me, looks around innocently. I stared at Tay who was trying to slip through. But instead of being scared, he only smiled. He does he's not intimidated by her at all. When 
Whenever Tay talks and smiles like that, I end up smiling back. After Tay left, I looked back to the dolls on the shelf. It wasn't a dream. Lance, Tay, Yonho, Red, and Yuri are all in this house, and in human form at that. I still say hi to the dolls and feel surprised at the boys coming into the room. Every morning when I wake up, I feel like I'm having another dream. Oh, Street Skater, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome. I really appreciate that. Now you can use my my sensor emote for whenever someone's being naughty. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And you know what? You've made me decide that I definitely am going to have to start um, thinking about creating an end card for my my YouTube videos. I really should show off my Twitch channel and connect it to my YouTube more. Yes, power! <laughs> yes, you have power. You have clout. Gonna be very awkward when we date Yonho. I agree, Justin, considering how childlike and innocent he seems. It's like, I, I just don't feel attracted to that because I'm so old. <laughs> I'm an old lady. <laughs> like, I feel like protective of him like a mother, you know? Like he's a child that I just want to take care of him. But that's not my romantic type. But yes, enjoy the emote. see uh what did I say also guys don't forget uh, street skaters already a member of my YouTube but whenever somebody new pops in don't forget to do the wait, what is I think it's social yeah I think it's that and then if you guys have uh, if you're a mod then feel free to add quotes and whip people and there's also uptime, I believe. I'm going to see what other commands I can have added. Well, I'm thinking maybe a thirst command. <laughs> uh, and maybe making thirsty as another emote. Probably not as awkward as dating Red. Since all of Red's dates would be like, let's go save the world. <laughs> let's go play Power Rangers. <laughs> you know. All right. Every morning when I wake up, I feel like I'm having another dream. Oh, thank you, Sign, for the host. I appreciate it. The thirst command, yes. I know. I'm going to I'm going to talk to Pup about that. Uh, he's been really busy with work lately, though. The thirst command. It's like whenever you see me acting like really thirsty on stream, you guys got to put the thirst command. That's what's going to happen. It's going to be saying something like uh Binks is super thirsty today. <laughs> or you want some water with that thirst? You know, something funny like that, maybe. But this life of going to the academy with them was definitely not a dream. Everything is real. Okay, so let's save. I'm going to keep saving over this one until I get to the point where I think is when I have to make decisions. Because once I'm done with uh, Yuri's route, I'm definitely going to want to skip certain parts. Like that whole Power Rangers conversation. <laughs> Don't die of dehydration. <laughs> That's true. Binks needs something to drink. Yeah, something like that. That would be funny. I do need to add more emotes in general, but uh, I will definitely talk to Pup about adding commands for people to use. For today's breakfast, toast. Usually Tay prepares breakfast, but compared to other days, today's was a bit sloppy and cute. Oh, that is cute. Who did that, Yonho? <laughs> I don't know. On the plate were toast and rabbit-shaped fried eggs. That's adorable! Who made this? Mm. Yonho and Red struggled from the morning. Oh, 
really? I was surprised and looked at Yonho and Red. Red was proudly glistening his eyes, and Yonho was shyly waiting for my response. How did you make this? I've never seen a rabbit-shaped fried egg before. It's so cute, I almost can't eat it. Oh yes, because making toast is so hard. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't judge. I'm sure there are some people who constantly burn their toast. Oh, Yellow made that. FYI, I made the toast. The toast looked normal considering that Red had made it, which is an accomplishment. I'm just gonna pat them both in the head. Good job. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> it was just toast, but thinking Red did it made me feel proud. Oh my gosh, Red, please. <laughs> There's a pretty cool... Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's red. <laughs> There's a pretty cool machine here. If you put bread in, it pops up later. Don't you think we'll be able to make a weapon out of this if we tweak it a bit? Oh, my God, red. I'm sure red will always be like that. It's, it's adorable, but I'm sure there has to be another side to him. No seasoning? What kind of egg is that? E for effort, though. <laughs> True. I put some salt or pepper. Run to school with toast in your mouth like a true anime protag. Yes. And I would totally make a joke about that, but I don't want to spoil uh, a certain anime that I'm trying to get Pharaoh to finish watching. <laughs> Darn it, Pharaoh. It's a really good anime. Uh, it's called Zombieland Saga. I think I told you guys about it before. It's really good. I think Louisa in particular would actually enjoy it a lot. Don't make a phone wave red. I don't want to go through that craziness. No. I replied while taking a bite of the toast. I was waiting for him to say something like that. But thank God he knows how to use a toaster properly. If you like it, I'll make it every day. You're my heroine. Red beamed. Yes, you should all watch all the anime I recommend. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and say that every single anime I recommend is probably gonna be to your taste. Um, but I think the majority would be. The only reason I think Louisa would enjoy Zombieland Saga is because it, uh, it takes everything that you would normally expect it to be and it turns it on its head. So it, it's not the traditional music anime and it's not the traditional zombie anime. It's, it's just this funny mixture. Yes, you would enjoy it, Street Skater. When they cry? Okay. Don't make toast wave. Phone toast. Higurashi's crazy and gross at times. I actually have not watched anime at all in the past few months. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. Just haven't been myself lately when it comes to anime. It's weird. Uh, I go through that sometimes, though. Which is bad because <laughs> then my anime watch list grows and grows and grows and I'm like, oh god, I have to binge and catch up. Um, I think what started it was when I started work. That's how I, I just fell off the anime bandwagon. It was just too hard. And now that I don't have a job, I'm like, I should be catching up with it and yet I'm still busy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll try my best to get back into it. Because Pharaoh and I still haven't finished watching... Um, Assassination Classroom Season 2. We're almost done. We have like three or four more episodes. But he's very busy and I'm so busy. Yeah, it's been like at least four, four months, maybe? Three or four months? I don't know. Maybe more. I blame work. Assassination Classroom is a really great anime. Really funny and has great action and it also has a lot of shipping to be had. <laughs> But it's, it's also really sad at points, too. Give Klanad another chance. I, I will. I have it in my watch list. Even though I said I don't like shoujo anime, <laughs> I said I will try it because you watched My Hero Academia. I'm glad you're enjoying that, by the way. Speaking of My Hero, one day I gotta make uh, time to stream a certain game. <laughs> okay, Red Beamed. 
Why are the fried eggs shaped like rabbit? I asked Yeonho while pondering whether I should eat these cute eggs. But what happened to that part of the egg that got cut in order to make that shape? Binge watching a few episodes now and you're off. Okay, if Street Skitter likes Clonud, then I really should watch it. And yes, sign you have to continue My Hero Academia. My Hero Wants Justice? Yes. Yes, that's the game. I haven't installed it yet, but I have it. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I need to get back into playing action, like fighting games, because I love fighting games and I just don't play them enough anymore. Visual novels took over my life. <laughs> Uh, you liked rabbit patterns. I remembered that and tried it. I'm glad you like them. Yeonho fidgeted a bit. He seemed to be a bit embarrassed. Yeonho even remembered that I like rabbit patterns. I naturally smiled at imagining him trying his best to cook the eggs. This is cute and all, and I like these three guys, but I'm like, sitting over here like, where's Yuri? <laughs> where's my man? Where's my sexy man? The thirst, the thirst level is a little too low right now. <laughs> Yuri, where are you? Yuri, please, show me your sexy face. Those glasses. Where's, where's the glasses? Oh yeah, and Lance. <laughs> I'm like, I forgot about Lance. That's true though, because Lance needs to be here in order to have his love-hate flirting relationship with the red. I felt like I was floating on a cloud. I forgot how happy it feels to prepare breakfast for someone. I feel tickly and happy. Anyways, see? She wants Yuri! Yes! It's already happening! <laughs> yes, I feel like he is the proper choice for this route. Yes, Jackie, yes, girl. She's, she's feeding off my thirst. Okay, that's kind of a contradictory statement. How can you feed off of thirst when thirst is like... Okay, anyway. I'm like, looking for contradictions. Objection! <laughs> Anyways, where did Yuri go? We were all smiling, but when I asked that, they suddenly looked hesitant. Uh-oh. What's he up to? Yuri goes out of the house most often among the five. That's why he's so mysterious. Yuri's best boy for now. Yes. He is, he is not even best boy. He's best man. <laughs> He's a man. If she wants Yuri, she's going to need to find another girl. <laughs> funny, Justin. Very funny. If I remember correctly, he wasn't home until late last night, too. I mean, if I could date Sobe, I totally would. Wait, is Sobe the... Darn it, I can't remember... Hold on. Oh, you could turn off the voice acting by touching them. Okay. Uh, Shinbi, right? Is that the name? I can't. Rem I think it's Shinbi, her best friend, the hot guy, or hot girly guy, guyish girl. I'm confused. I can't talk right now. Jesus. <laughs> The protag has her friends, yes. I think Sobi is the girly girl and Shinbi is the the handsome girl. Ah, uh, no worries, sign. It's late for you. Uh, if I remember correctly, he wasn't home until late last night, too. Ooh. <sighs> Mmm, the music changed and everything as soon as he walked into the room. <laughs> oh, darling, don't you have softer sheets in the house? My sensitive skin screams every morning. Mmm, my man. Yuri walked into the kitchen, still sleepy. I'm now used to his facial masks. The one you're using right now is pretty good, you know. But why were you out so late last night? Oh my god, Yuri. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you look so silly. <laughs> uh, y 
Yuri better not have a special someone already. Because uh, the Yandere in me would come out. I'd be like, boy, what you doing out there? I'd be like, who is she? Where is she? <laughs> I'll track her down. <laughs> uh, he looks ridiculous. Yuri, why, why are you like this? <laughs> why do I still love you? <laughs> Yuri stood in front of the table without replying. What is this? Fried eggs Yonho made, and you still haven't washed? What time is it right now? Hey! Yuri snatched my fried egg and ate it. Rude! <laughs> no, his face was not always like that. He's just wearing a facial mask, being his pretty boy self. Yandere Simulator. <laughs> oh. Uh, how dare you! I'd be f I would laugh if Yonho snapped on him right now. He'd be like, Bitch! How dare you ruin what I cooked! Yuri took away the fried egg Yonho made. Yonho instantly looked like he was about to cry. No! Don't cry! Man up! Fight! Fight! As much as I love Yuri, he kind of deserves a punch in the stomach right now. <laughs> like, throw that back up! Actually, no. Please don't. Ew. Regardless, Yuri chewed and went on talking. Don't worry, my honey. I'll be armed in my radiant looks when I head out. Just wait three minutes. Anyways, this tastes pretty good. I saw Yonho get teary-eyed. I wasn't even able to touch the breakfast he made for me. Yonho, you made it for me. I'm sorry I couldn't eat it. No, Master, it's not your fault. It's this stupid tall jerk's fault. I did hope you would eat it. But I saw you smile, so that's enough. But more than that, how about your breakfast? Oh, right, wait, I'll make another one. Oh, I didn't know the creator was that strange, huh? I tried playing um, Yandere Simulator with Smooth once for my channel. I think I had like one or two episodes. It was just, <laughs> excuse me, because the game wasn't finished and it had so many glitches and stuff and I just really didn't know what to do. I kind of got bored with it, even though it was pretty funny at times. It was just weird. I felt sorry to see Yonho hide his disappointment and worry about me. I held his hand as he was about to get up. Uh, ma master? Ma master? I beamed at him. I wanted to show him that I appreciated his present, although I couldn't eat the egg. He said he liked me smiling, so I hope this will give him a good start for the day. Master? Master? Yonho bashfully smiled back. Stop having moments with Yonho. No, it's supposed to be about Yuri. Darn it. <laughs> Yeah, you, you defend your little brother, okay? <laughs> Yuri, I'll let you go this time, but next time you bother Yellow, I'll make sure you pay, you villain. Why are you so energetic worked up right now? Okay, that was phrased a little strangely. Showing off your youth. But since when were you guys on the same side? And when did I bother him, huh? You just ate that fried egg. Yonho made that for me. You just snatched away his present for me. What's <laughs> 
ragazzo. What? You're getting mad for that? How petty. Fine. Uh-oh. What you up to now? <laughs> you sexy man, what are you doing? Yuri suddenly got up and held up my chin. Uh, what? Oh, I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna say, oh, let me just feed you the egg. Or you could taste the remnants of my lips. Like, oh my god. That's something a smooth talker like him would say that. So he is changing it? Huh. Don't shove your face! I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, and I bet Lance is the one who's defending me. Now, my honey, close your eyes. If you kiss me now, you'll be able to taste Yonho's fried egg. That will be enough. Ow! Always Lance to the rescue. Mask fell off. <laughs> and the slippers on his head. Oh, that's funny. That's such a Latino thing to do. We take our slippers and use them as as weapons. That's why they call it they call it La Chancla. <laughs> a slipper came flying his way and hit him right at the back of his head. <laughs> I know it is a horribly cheesy line. He clutched his head and dropped down at the spot. Where did that thing just come from? I knew it. Always land. <laughs> what is this atrocity? Did you eat something wrong when you were out late last night? Uh, next time, in order to avoid Nightbot doing that, you could just send the clip to a mod and they can post it. Usually, like, Justin can do it, because he's pretty good about that. But thank you for clipping that. That was pretty funny. Lance, wearing only one slipper, slowly walked towards the table. It must have been Lance who threw it. Thanks, Lance. If it weren't for you, he would have gotten me again. Seriously, Red? You were standing right there. You're calling yourself a warrior of justice. Why did you protect her? <laughs> you idiot. <sighs> you should be careful. Bugs keep clawing on to you because you always gape. Lance sat down poker-faced. His p p p poker face. Okay. Yuri was still crouched on the floor, clutching his head. It was just a slipper, crybaby. <laughs> You're being punished for what you did, Yuri. You have to wait until our our compatibility is higher. Our actually like whatever they're gonna call it in this game. Your romance points or. You know how these Otome games are. <laughs> you have to reach a certain number, a certain level. Lance punished you for stealing away my fried egg and doing weird stuff. <sighs> how did your freaking face mask come back on? I thought it fell off into the floor. <laughs> Groan? I think that's the wrong spelling of groan, but okay. My honey, aren't you being too cold? It was just a friendly gesture. We'll be living in the same house for a while. Shouldn't we get used to each other? A friendly gesture? Ugh, it's my fault for expecting you to have common sense. Oh. Huh? I must have gotten a text. I turned my phone on and checked the text. Another ad. It must be time to change my number again. Wait, what? Why would you change your number just because of that? I've been getting a lot of these lately. Oh my god. Honey, I always wanted to say that, but now I have to Did he actually just say, oh my god, honey? I thought I heard him say that in English. Wow. Oh my god, honey. I've always wanted to tell you, but... I should say it right now. What? 
그런 걸 들고 다니다니 너무 아름답지 않아서 눈에 거슬릴 지경이라고. That metal piece of crap. I can't believe you take that with you. It's so unattractive. It gets on my nerves. It's a cell phone. Calm your tits, boy. Yari pointed at my phone with disgust. Ah, 아, 나도 비슷한 생각했어. 폴더형은 요즘에는 거의 쓰지 않지. 아카데미에서는 다들 스마트폰을 쓰더라고. Oh, they're saying that because it's not a smartphone. Well, excuse you. <laughs> Stop being judgy. It took me a long time to get a smartphone. I didn't get one until 2014 or 2015. For the longest time I had like flip phones and stuff. I did like a... I had a flip one that had a full keyboard. That was fun to type on. But it was very thick. It was extra thick. It has dirt and dust in it so that makes it better. <laughs> oh, I thought the same thing. No one uses the folding type anymore. Everyone uses smartphones at the academy. You have a flip phone, you feel so attacked. Aww. I, sometimes I miss my flip phone. It was fun to flip it. Can she even afford that though? Get a new one right now. I can't bear seeing my honey use such crap. You miss the battery life of flip phones. Yeah. I don't really feel the need to change it. I only call and text anyways. It's exactly as I said. I'll only be calling and texting, so I don't need other fancy applications. Besides, even if I get a smartphone, there are only a few people I'll stay in contact with. And I hate that you have to study it to use one. Just seeing other kids use it makes my head hurt. Don't you have to take that mask off now? You've had it on for too long. I'm slowly getting worried he's having it on for too long. Yeah, take it off. I've seen it a couple times now, but I still can't get used to it. Red agrees. Every time I see Yuri with that thing at night, I feel like I'm going to get a heart attack. What is that? Um, uh... Red seemed confused, but soon triumphantly pointed at Yuri. A what? Yes, a babbler ghost! Okay. <laughs> Bachelor ghost? What? You mean a bachelor ghost. Get your facts straight before you pretend to know. Oops. And please, could you be quiet? I cannot eat if you are constantly screaming like that. You do not have to show off your stupidity for everyone to know, so please stop. Uh, if ghosts really exist, they should take you away. <laughs> you two always bickering. Get a room. Oh wait, you have one already. <laughs> Beepers, man. Ah, all these flashback stuff. What? Hey, who are you calling a fool? Bachelor or babbler? Who cares? They're all ghosts, anyways. I ain't scared of nothing. 
Seeing Red establish his own theory on exorcism, Lance looked at him with scorning eyes. You can't even be bothered to correct him anymore. <laughs> Red is funnier than usual today. Anyways, Lance is so nice for correcting Red's every word when he can just ignore it. <laughs> Whatever. Lance snorted at his words and continued to eat. Yeah, what is a bachelor ghost? Hey, Tay, what's a bachelor ghost? Is it a bad ghost? Ah, you don't know the term. Mongdai Gishin, Jog in the Yuri Charom, Changa de Mokago, Chunga Gincher, Chugun Gishin, Mare. Botong, or Gulom Gishin, it up with a Oh, you don't know. A bachelor ghost is someone like Yuri over there who died as a bachelor without getting married. They're usually called faceless ghosts. 살아 생전에 여자 한번 제대로 사귀지 못하고 인생을 마쳤기 때문에 여자만 보면 정신을 못 차리고 들이대곤 하는데 아까 봤지? Okay. It's said that because they've died before they could get a girl, every time they see one they go crazy and hit on them. You saw earlier. Tay teased Yuri with his kind smile and soft voice. Contrary to his smile, his words were quite vicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call being passive aggressive. Yikes. After hearing Tay's explanation, Yonho understood and nodded. At that moment, the egg thief suddenly stood up. Yeah, go put on your other outfit. No wonder he's so mad, since apparently he died before he could get <laughs> he could get a girl. <laughs> Wait, you said that? I didn't die as a bachelor. Yuri overreacted as if he's... Wait, what? As if he... Okay, whatever. As if he mistook himself as the bachelor ghost. It was like seeing someone who heard a scary prophecy. In today's words, a bachelor ghost is a forever alone. I feel bad for him. I suddenly felt immense sympathy and camaraderie towards the bachelor ghost, so would I be a bachelorette ghost then? <laughs> God. Please don't let me end up like that. I mean, it's not because I'm a forever alone. Why do I suddenly feel like crying? Girl, you're young. Shut up. <laughs> so, uh, huh. Yeonho suddenly pulled out a notebook from some from nowhere and started writing something down. Tae was telling him something by his side. Uh, you guys are young still, shush, <laughs> compared to me. Uh Bachelor ghosts are afraid of garlic. Yuri didn't get married. Ugh, my pencil broke. Wait, okay, continue. Mongdaigishinan Tongshinel Mochariko, Yojaege Tri Denida. Bachelor ghosts hit on girls like crazy. Manel was jagado chogo. Write down uh write down garlic and cross. He's not a vampire, okay? <laughs> Of course, the letter ghost is a bachelorette ghost, although unfortunately she's not faceless. We see her hideous face all the time. I mean, what? Don't, don't, uh, don't get angry, darling. <laughs> You're still in your mid-twenties, sign. You're younger than me. I'm almost old. <laughs> <laughs> what? So when a bachelor ghost hits on girls, feed Yuri garlic. Oh gosh. I'm pretty sure Tay's enthusiastic about participating in Red's pranks. 
Now he's teaching Yonho weird things. And Yonho seems to believe it all. At Tay's words, I start to imagine Yuri's tormented face after being forcefully fed garlic. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That would be a great punishment for him every time he does something inappropriate towards the main character. You jerks, stop. Calling me a bachelor ghost even after seeing my chiseled face. You are all so beneath me, I can't even talk to you guys. You already ate my egg. <laughs> hey, no food for me. I don't feel like eating anymore. I'm going to shower and refresh myself. Yuri snorted and headed towards the bathroom. <laughs> that dude, what's he talking about? He already ate everything. Red said after looking at the empty plate that used to hold the fried egg Yuri just ate. Heroin. Heroin. What? Heroin. <laughs> Heroin. <laughs> Not gonna respond. <laughs> Why aren't you answering? Are you really going to call me that? Oh. Yes. My name has suddenly become heroin. Red continued on. Yeah, yeah, call me whatever you want. Yeah, the way that they say it in Japanese, or I guess Korean. Heroin. Heroin. <laughs> That's cute. Actually. Red came over and whispered. Huh? What is it? I was curious what he had to whisper. Wait, are you being serious? Because I'm already suspicious of Yuri. I've been thinking. I think there's a spy amongst us. A spy? Shh, quiet. He might be listening to us right now. What? Red put his finger on my mouth. I can't understand why Red's being so serious, unlike his usual self. I knew there was another side to you. You don't seem to have noticed, but I feel some bad spirits in the house, especially there. There's something about the owner of that room. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, who's the mastermind? Who's the, the spy, as he says? Red pointed at Yuri and Tay's room. Mmm. I could see it being either Yuri or Tay, honestly. The owner of that room. Yes, commander in chief and the babbler ghost. It seems that Yuri will be called that for the time being. The commander is on our side, so only the babbler ghost is left. Suspicious. Okay, the fact that they're suspicious of Yuri this early in the game tells me it can't be him. You know, just like it is in any other mystery game, it's too early for it to be pointing the finger at the actual bad guy. So maybe it is Tay. Unless it's Red. That would be shocking. I would be super, super shocked and very sad. What's suspicious? What he's doing? The last time I passed the living room, the door was a bit open, so I peeked. Gulp. That guy, he was using a smartphone to communicate with the enemy. Who's the enemy?
Wait, 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 wait. Yuri, are you cheating on me? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Yuri, no. How am I supposed to? No. I hope you're just flirting just to get something done, like last time. I guess the bad guy would be whoever brought the dolls to life? But how is that a bad thing? I don't know. Mademoiselle, if I could see your beautiful smile one more time, I would do anything in the world. If I could hold your soft, dear hands again, shiny wings would grow on my back. <laughs> Her face. The only thing I took from that was that Yuri's flattery was top-notch. No, I'm lost too, Louisa. Okay, red. <laughs> I think you're a little off, buddy, but you're right that, uh... Yuri's definitely up to something, but I don't think he's evil. Isn't it weird? Who is he talking to? And he finished the call with saying, Good night, my sweet angel. It must be a secret code with the enemy. I know, right? Red made us think it was something really serious. How did you say he betrayed you? What? <laughs> Yuri betrayed us. I can't believe it. Yonho's in it now. He fluttered his eyelashes and trembled. As innocent Yonho is, he seems to be just as gullible to Red's pranks. Well, in some sense, Red is very innocent if he honestly was suspicious of Yuri, like, what the frick. I've definitely seen Yuri say things I can't understand on his smartphone, but... But... I still can't believe it! How can Yuri... I thought we were friends! I don't feel like drinking my milk now. The atmosphere became serious as Yeonho became genuinely sad. What do you mean by betrays us? How is he betraying you? It's just ridiculous. Yellow, don't be so sad. A path of a, war a justice warrior is supposed to be difficult and lonely. Even if someone betrays us, we must head on. Somehow our house became the headquarters of two justice warriors and a commander. And apparently of one traitor who crossed the enemy lines blinded by Mademoiselle. Wait, then is Lance no longer the traitor? Then what about Lance? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, red. Typical. Him? What? Of course he's the villain! Ow! <laughs> As Lance stood up after finishing his meal, a slipper came flying towards Red. Lance is like, damn it, now I don't have any slippers on. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of those big beautiful slippers flying through the air. I should call those the flying slippers from now on. <laughs> Cute. Ah! <laughs> Don't fight at the table. Dust is getting on the food. Yeah, he's barefoot now. Yeonho scolded him after laying down the steaming milk cup. Food must be more important than their fight. Yeonho was trying all his might to protect the remaining food after Yuri snatched away that fried egg. Yes, you two stop. We have to get ready and go to the academy. Following the commander's orders, Red reluctantly sat down. Lance walked towards the sink without saying anything. How can having breakfast be this difficult? I was about to relax after Tay's meditation or mediation when the bathroom door opened. Yuri walked out of the bathroom, still steaming. <gasps> Is he half naked again? <sighs> My thirst level increased so fast right there. Oh, so excited. 
Do it. Do it. Show him. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> ah, yes, yes. I am very pleased. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes. Ah, uh, mm, yes. Thank you. Now that that stupid mask is off and he's not wearing that outfit, he want a drink? Mm-hmm. Give me a drink, Yuri. Give me a drink. Ah, <sighs> okay. With just a towel on his waist. He's not human, Justin. He's a doll. <laughs> Don't question it. Although the fact he has a belly button at all is a little strange, but I guess they probably just made a little indentation in the doll to make it look like he had an umbilical cord at one point. Ah! I stopped eating and covered my eyes with my hands. Why the hell is he not wearing his clothes? Ah, kia ora da. Moya mai hai. Uwe kara wo inin goya? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> How bold! I like this music too. Phew! I feel fresh. Hmm? What is it, my honey? What's wrong? You being shy? <laughs> Come on. We're going to see everything of each other soon, anyways. Mm, sexy man. Yuri gave his wicked smile and approached me. I have no idea what that everything is, but I do know that that's something I don't want to see. Oop, oop. What, what are you going to show him, Lance? What are you going to do? If you do not turn around this instant and go to your room, I will show you myself something you really do not want to see. My mind is telling me no, but my body. <laughs> Love that song. I'm enjoying this sight. I will help too. <laughs> well, we can't even talk to my honey properly with all these intruders. Well, still many more chances to come. All right. Ooh, ooh, Yuri, do it! Give them all detention! Yes! And then we'll be home alone together. <laughs> he should totally do that. <laughs> Abuse your power. If we're in the academy, you guys won't be able to intrude. I'm the teacher with power, and all of you the helpless students. Or call her into your office and then lock the door. Mmm, you bad boy. <laughs> At Yuri's words, my desire to go to the academy vanished. Yuri smiled triumphantly and went into his room. <laughs> Sign. <laughs> Her just writing, no! <laughs> As if she is the the main character. Like, you remind me of, like, every uh, Otome protagonist. Like, so innocent. You're like, no! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> That's cute. Do it, sign. Do it. <laughs> I'm not scared. I embrace it. Yuri smiled triumphantly and went into his room. Ah, <sighs> there's not a single moment to be off guard. Okay, let's save again. This is a very long time until we actually get to decisions. Oh, right. Since Yonho's here, I need to say something. 
Don't hope, please call me by my name in the classroom, not master. People don't think our relationship is kinkier than it is. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> I've made him practice for a week, but he still stutters. M mass Oh, right, Jackie. In front of Soy and Shinbi. Oh, not Sobi, it's Soy. Soy and Shinbi. Their name would be Sobi if they were a shipping. Okay, that's why I was thinking that. Yeah, I guess I guess you can't whip me, Poker Girl. I am immune. <laughs> Be. Okay. Not calling Master Master. I can't do that. Wait, what? Am I suddenly playing as him? Wait, I'm confused. Oh no, what happened? No, my immunity. <laughs> Whatever. Not calling master, master. I can't do that. At first, Yonho said no and didn't budge. Oh, okay. It's a flashback. But now, I think he's trying to understand and call me by my name in front of others. For Lance's overly polite attitude, I can just argue that it's his personality. But there was nothing I could say about what Yonho called me. The bag's heavy. Alright, Jackie. I was adjusting my bag when Tay called me. Yeah? There's something I have to tell you. What is it? Oh, well that's good. You should be working and contributing to the household. <laughs> we need money, man. I've decided to take a part-time job. A part-time job? When it hasn't even been ten days since you became human? But, well, if it's you, if it's Tay, I'm not worried at all. If another doll said that, I would have been. But he's the most reliable in the house, so I think he'll be able to manage it. <laughs> I'm glad you trust me. What's your job? Maybe it's at a bookstore, since he likes books. Or maybe cooking, since apparently he knows how to cook very well. There we go. I'll be working at a cafe. It's called Banjul. Bring your friends sometime. It's at... Tay explain in detail the way to get there. Soy and Shinbi are all the friends I have. <laughs> He's gonna take a job as a male showman. God, my throat is acting up right now. Should I take them there later? I should ask when I see them today. Okay, if we were on his route, then I definitely would. But because uh, he's not even technically available until after I play through the first three, I'm not gonna bother. Okay, I will. But aren't you nervous about starting a job? Nervous? Well, not really. sounded a little too loud right there. Sorry. Tay smiles. Can we ship Jackie with Soy and Shinbi? I don't know. It'd be nice, but I, ha I doubt it, honestly. His smile comforted me, but at the same time made me feel a bit iffy. I'll be waiting. You have to come. All right. An anonymous cheer. Oh, well, thank you for the two bits, anonymous cheer. Huh. I. Is that your actual name? Thank you. Those are really cute, though. They're like little ghosties. Fan fiction won't stop us. <laughs> That's true. Huh. Unless it was you, Justin? Were you able to change your name for that? I don't think so, right? But thank you! Uh, 
that Tay went into the library to get his bag. A part-time job. Oh, two more bits. Thank you. You think it's their name? Well, that's very sweet of you. I appreciate that. And those are such cute bits, too. You think it's Justin? Is he able to do that? I didn't think you could do that. Okay, part-time job. I guess a smart doll makes money by himself. Oh, of course, except Yuri. And Karo did? Alright, since we're finished eating, we should start heading out. Oh, who should I go to school with? See? Here we go. Okay, Justin, now you're making me think it's you. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. I didn't know you could do that. Those were really cute little symbols, though. I've never seen those before. So here we go with the three that we have to choose from. Oh girl, you know I'm not gonna choose Yonho. <laughs> I already said I'm going with going with Yuri. I find him to be the most interesting and mysterious right now. So let's do this. Uh, can I save at this point too? Since this is the part where uh, the decision is made, so I'll come back to this part when I replay the game. Lance will be done after Yuri. So you can cheer anonymously. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. So, let's go with our sexy man, Yuri. I guess Yuri would be ready by now. I knocked on Yuri's door. Yuri, let's go. Yeah, walk it to school with your teacher. <laughs> that, that won't make people suspicious at all. The door opened and Yuri came out. Hmm, he always looks good in that suit. Oh, baby, he sure does. Even when he's human, he still looks good in everything. Ah, oh, thank you for more bits, Justin. And I see you did it as yourself. <laughs> 그럼 택시를 부를 테니 조금만 기다려, 달링. Oh. Oh. Why aren't you wearing your glasses? No. <laughs> You're still sexy, but I want the glasses. Come on now. I'll call a cab. Wait, darling. We can take the bus. 버스라면 그 네모난 참치캔에 빼곡하게 사람을 구겨 넣은 걸 말하는 건 아니겠지? Oh, Louisa, did you not see the last episode? Girl, you need to see the last stream because he was wearing this suit and he was wearing glasses and I died. I legit had like a, a total thirst freak out. <laughs> it was pretty funny. The total bits you've given. Whoa, 6,666. Oh my gosh. A bus? You don't mean that thing that grams people in like tuna in a can, right? You're correct. You know already. You really want me to put my precious body in that teeny tiny tasteless space? Do you want to walk then? It takes a while. I used to walk to school when I was trying to save up money to buy clothes for the dolls. Yeah, being on a cramped bus is the worst. <laughs> You're very generous, Justin. You always have been. I remember suffering from muscle aches for three days after walking to school just for one day. Anyways, I'm not going to ride the bus. That is impossible in my dictionary. I have to take a cab, so my honey should do the same. She is very out of shape. If you're worried about money, then don't. I'll pay. How do you even have money? You just started working. You shouldn't have gotten paid yet. 
This human, who used to be a doll a couple of days ago, beamed and said, telling me not to worry about money. Like, what the frick? <laughs> what are you up to, man? I don't trust him sometimes. I'm like, I have a feeling he actually was human all this time. I don't know. It was like a line from a TV show. I had no idea where he wanders off at night and gets all his money. Maybe he gambles? I don't know. Or a stripper. <laughs> oh, I could see that. Hmm. I could see that. Or he's like a... What do they call those? Um... Something... Companion, basically. That they uh, hire you for the night to be their date or whatever. <laughs> I had no money where, uh, idea where he wanders off at night and gets all his money. An escort. Yes, that's the name I was looking for. Thank you, Louisa. Where did you get the money to take a cab? You have taken a cab every day this week. It's a long story. Almost as long as... Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> he could be a rental boyfriend. Almost broke your wrist? Jeez, what happened? I was worried what it was. Explain. <laughs> hmm, you really want to know all the dirty details? Yuri leaned over to my side. Aw, oh, 20. Wow, thank you, Justin. Yeah, you don't need to know how long. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> don't worry about it, Pokey Girl. I nodded. I needed to check that he's not committing some crime, so I had to make sure. It was a justified reward for gifting a lady with excitement that shines like the Milky Way. Oh dear. What kind of excitement? Hmm? <laughs> oh boy, what have you been up to, my boy? What the hell are you talking about? Hmm, I like this music a lot. They always have good music. Um, Chariots? The company that makes these games. The music for Mystic Messenger was amazing. Like the sad music always made me want to cry. He's a professional indeed. Alright, I'll put it simple. But first, get your shoes on. We're going to be late soon. Yuri walked away and put on his shoes at the front door. Huh? His shoes laid down at the front door shined. I have definitely never seen those shoes before. I was staring at them since they were new, but he didn't seem surprised at all. Hmm. Oh, this. The mademoiselle who accidentally spilled coffee at the cafe yesterday gave them to me as an apology. Oh, of course, she gave me money. When did he get those? I had no idea what was going on with him since he wasn't around the house the last couple of days. Mm-hmm. Oh, my honey. Are you in love with these shoes instead of me now? Well, of course, it's not completely ridiculous. These are from S's new collection. Yeri boasted his new shiny pair of shoes. Th they are expensive. You still have money left for a cab? How much did that woman pay you? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, how many sugar mamas do you have, my boy? <laughs> like, how many? Oh, I didn't buy these. They were a gift. 
The sales girl said these were made for me, and just gave them to me. It's not right for a gentleman to refuse a gift from a beautiful woman. Mm. I couldn't believe that that was possible in this commercial age. What happened to feminism? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I had no idea why people were being so generous to a guy like Yuri. Actually, if you think about it, maybe it is kind of feminism. Because the women are like, hey, I could be a sugar mama if I want to. You know? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, it looks expensive. Was that girl sane when she gave them to him? Fashion exists for beautiful people, for people like me. Anyways, shouldn't we get going? Okay, I can't wait to see what's behind all of this facade, because with these creators of the games, guys like him, he's definitely not like that completely, you know? He's acting this way to protect himself. It has to be. Because the same thing happened with uh, Seduce Me. Uh, a character who was very similar to him, he was pretty much just acting like that for a reason. So that's why I'm always intrigued by these kind of characters, because at first I'm like, oh, they're really, f you know, they're just like a shallow guy who's all about his looks and flirting. Yes, Eric. Um... But beneath it all, there's usually much more there. So that's why I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to see the man behind the mask. <laughs> Which is perfect, because he's the one who wears facial masks, so. Hallelujah. <laughs> huh? To get a cab, you said you wanted to go to school with me. It doesn't feel good, but should I just take it? If you're going to pay, I do want to get a cab. Taking the bus to school does feel like going to hell. <laughs> okay. And now we're at school. Hey! Oh, that's her friend. I don't know why it says student one when we know it's her friend. Hey! Oh no. Never mind. Random girls, then. Good morning! Annyeong. Oh. Oh, the thirst is back. Oh, Shinbi. Shinbi, why? Why are you my friend? No, you must be more than my friend. You're so gorgeous. <laughs> Shinbi, I love you. Marry me. <laughs> I would choose you in a heartbeat. I would choose you over Yuri. Maybe even over Red. I don't know. I choose you. Uh. Imagine Joanna seeing her. <laughs> Actually, I just realized Coco's not here. She might be streaming. Is Coco streaming? Gosh, I don't know. I didn't even check her schedule today. Uh, is she streaming? Oh, Konetsu is streaming. Okay. Then maybe Coco's just busy. Because otherwise she would have been here and she would have been thirsting over Shinbi with me. Okay. Hi. Hey, Shinbi. Good morning. And good morning to you too, Soi. Soi looked at Yonho and Lance and smiled happily. Where's Soi? There she is. <laughs> <laughs> She's funny. Ever since they transferred here, I actually feel like coming to this academy. <laughs> Soi woke up without an alarm clock today. Shinmi told me while sipping her strawberry milk. She was still expressionless, but did seem quite amused. <laughs> <laughs> it 
In a way, she reminds me of myself. She's a thirsty girl. <laughs> but she's smart, so I, I have respect for her. Of course. I sense the pink roses slowly blooming in my life now. But I'm still jealous of you. Soy pointed at me. Me? You were with this transfer students from the first day. You should really be thankful to the principal. Oh. I did make up a story about my relationship with the boys to Soy and Jinbi. The five of them treated me naturally, even in the academy. And of course, Soy would never have just ignored that. Thanks to that, she fiercely interrogated me that day. She was about to shoot laser beams while asking how in the world they knew me. Uh, I'm sure we'll see the creepy nurse guy again soon. <laughs> that man made me laugh so hard. So I racked my brain and barely came up with a story on the spot. This is how it went. The first day the transfer students and new teacher came to the academy. I was coincidentally passing by the principal's office when he just happened to notice me. So he requested that I help the transfer students and new teacher who came from abroad get used to the academy. Beatrice. Yes. After heavily emphasizing coincidentally and just happened to, Soy acknowledged my relationship with them. Of course, with eyes full of envy and a string of doubt. I did feel bad about using the principal as an excuse, but I did succeed in fooling Soy. Oh, come to think of it, I remember what Tay said as we left the house. Oh, right. I was going to work at a cafe. Should I ask Soy and Shinbi? Oh, I guess I didn't have a choice there. Well, boo. <laughs> Are you guys busy after school? Why? I'm free. I have something to do. Of course you do. Probably gonna go, uh, be photographed some more. Well, then, never mind. I was going to go to a cafe, but if Shinbi's busy, we can go another time. A cafe? Where? She's going to freak out if I say it's the place that famous transfer student Tay works at. I thought over whether I should tell Soy, knowing she'll get overly excited. Ah! Uh-oh, she's suspicious. Soy suddenly grabbed my wrist. What? what are you doing? Let me see the chick. What? Oh, by chick, she meant Yonho. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what, you're calling him a girl? Soy gave him that nickname, saying that he looked like a yellow chick. <laughs> That's cute. He's looking at you. Of course he is. Huh? Sure enough, Yonho was staring at me. He often did that recently. I was trying hard to ignore him so he wouldn't accidentally say, Master! What should I do? <laughs> you know, silent poker girls gonna be like, don't, neg don't neglect him. <laughs> no. We're not doing his route, so I have to neglect him. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. I'm sorry, Yonho. Y you need to be a little less thirsty. <laughs> Go make some friends, Yonho. I'm sorry. I whispered to myself after lying down flat on the desk. <laughs> Neglect, despair. <laughs> How are the other kids? I just hope nothing big happens. I'm sorry, uh, Yonho. 
Oh, these are just random people. Okay. You're wrong. The girls don't even face me. Okay, that's clearly Red's voice, but whatever. You're better off than me, though. Someone even said to me, Go away, you potato head. <laughs> Justin. You wanted to make a girlfriend? Okay, that's weird phrasing. I wanted to make a girlfriend before I graduate. If things go on like this, I'm hopeless. <laughs> Is that what boys really talk about in high school? <sighs> Can't believe what youth is wasting away like this. Oh my god, Red, please. <laughs> He's like, I'll save you. I'll be your girlfriend. <laughs> uh, you're funny, Red. What? Wasting away? Where? Who? Who's in waste? Hey, friend, is it you? <laughs> He's so aggressive. He's like grabbing onto their shoulders. I'll save you. <laughs> Ah, so loud. Get lost, redhead. Yeah, since when were we friends? Don't be obnoxious for being popular with girls. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, nice pun, poker girl. What? Why are you guys in tears? Are you guys cursed or something? Mm, everyone's indeed lifeless. This calls for that solution. Oh, Oh, Commander, do you know how to fix these people? They are cursed, right? The solution is... What? Tell me if you know. Don't hesitate. Uh-oh. Tay, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing to my poor baby Red? You're taking advantage of the fact that he's naive. I do definitely know, but I'm afraid it might be a bit dangerous. Whatever it is, it will be better than them lying around cursed. What is the solution? That is... Uh-oh. What you up to? Yes, okay. G, g got you. I'll try my best. I thought he said G for a second. I was like, what? 그래, 너라면 잘 해낼 것 같다. 그럼 잘 해봐. 파이팅! I was about to say, like, what, Red? You suddenly became ghetto? What? <laughs> okay, I have faith in you. Go on. Good luck. Roger! Roger that! Ja! Now, everyone, look here! Uh-oh. Why am I suddenly getting goosebumps? I don't feel good about this. Me too. Uh-oh. To all the poor souls cursed by evil enemies, you no longer have to worry. Today, here, I will cleanse you all. Uh-oh. Cleanse? Yeah, please don't hit them. You'll be charged with assault or something. To be honest, I heard the best way is to hit you on the head, but I am a justice warrior. I can't hurt my friends. So 
so I'll choose the second best method, even if it takes more work. That's all you have to know. The second best method? What's that? Before that, what do you mean by cursed? And what's with the justice warrior? Chin <laughs> Yubo Pyo? What's, what are you talking about? Uh-oh. Red, no. <laughs> Tay, what are you doing? Oh, Steins Gate. Okay. Don't worry too much. The commander has never been wrong. So just trust me. When this ritual is over, your souls will be cleansed and return to their natural state. Now, I'll start now. This is the lethal move Commander thought. Thought? You mean taught? Yellow and I. Yellow? Lethal move. Here! <laughs> Red, please. What the hell? I can't meet you! What? Can't meet you. I want to meet you! What? <laughs> Even he's like, what? What the hell, Red? <laughs> this is a song, isn't it? This must be like a freaking Power Rangers song. I'm not gonna even say this because how can I compete with that? My god. <laughs> I just love the Catcha you! Catcha me! <laughs> Red, you fool. I love you so much. Ah, I can't wait to get to your route. Um... Yes? You're Tay, right? Yeah, I am. What is it? Red over there. He called you Commander. Can I ask you what that is? Oh, that? Yeah. It's nothing. He's into things like that nowadays. You know we grew up abroad, right? Before we came here, he used to watch TV a lot to learn the language. Wait, what? These boys are singing the song too? <laughs> it's, it's contagious! Oh my god, they're singing! <laughs> Are they gonna start running around pretending to be Power Rangers too? Uh, that would be really funny. He calls himself Red, probably for that reason. He's not a bad guy, so please go along with his prank. I have to ask. <laughs> oh my god! Girls, please! <laughs> Okay, Justin. Hey, I'll do anything you ask. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, Red is a bit weird, but it means he's that innocent. Don't worry, Tay. 
그래 부탁이 있으면 앞으로 얼마든지 우리에게 기대 우린 너희 편 그... <웃음> 아니 너희 편이거든 Yeah, if you have anything you want, you can rely on us. We are your fan club. <clears throat> I mean, we're on your side. Girls, y'all thirsty for Tay. I see how it is. Wait, who's collapsed? What? <laughs> Yo, how is it? My song. Don't you feel stronger after listening to it? Huh? Hey, why are you all collapsed like that? Maybe the girls, yeah, I don't know. Ooh, Yuri! Mm. After all that funny moment, back to the Yuri. Mm. <laughs> Music is like a woman, depending on how you interpret it. It can be a fierce and sexy jazz tune, or a pure and soft ballad. Akido Matan Gadida. Saguro Umage Yoshin Mujinen, Kunumbushin Mimuri, Kanyel Kunum Kuedama, Susuru Lapu Sungenende, Urin Yjamul Mengshimeso. The same goes for instruments. FYI, Muse, the goddess of music, gathered her blinding beauty into delicate notes to hide herself in sheets of music. You should remember this, and... 저, 저기, 선생님? Um, Mr. Yuri. 그러니까, 악기를 연주할 때는 최대한 부드럽게, 그리고 강렬하게 휘어잡아. So when you play an instrument, you should take hold of it as softly and fiercely as... 저기요, 선생님! Um, <clears throat> um, Mr. Yuri. <laughs> 그래, 손든 거기 사내놈. 뭐가 궁금하지? 이 몸에 말을 끊을 정도니 대단히 엄청난 질문이겠지. <laughs> he doesn't like co-ed schools. <laughs> Typical. Damn, this is why he didn't like co-ed schools. Yes, that boy with his hand up. What do you want? It must be such an important question to interrupt me like that. Welcome back, Justin. I think Yuri is sexist in certain ways. He definitely doesn't like other males. <laughs> He's all about the females. No, it's it's not that. Um I just didn't understand you. See, I'm a virgin and uh <laughs> He's like, I knew it. Be quiet, virgin. All virgins get out of my classroom. <laughs> like, oh my god, Yuri, please. Not understand. Which part? Ev every part. I'll explain again, so listen carefully. An instrument, you know? The more you play it, it succumbs to your will, like a lovely, bashful girl. No, not at all. <laughs> what? No, I mean, show it to us. I think I'll understand better if you demonstrate what you just said. So, uh... Oh my god! He just said it all sexy! No! That feels inappropriate, sir! Get a room with your instruments, please! Oh my god! Yuri, please! <laughs> I can't- I can't handle that. My heart's like... weak. <laughs> I don't think I can even say it like that without freaking out. <clears throat> All right, I'll demonstrate this once, so focus. Yeah, I can't say that. <laughs> oh no. No! <laughs> Louisa, I'm dying! <laughs> 
Oh, this is, uh... <clears throat> oh, Lord. Uh, all I would say is... This? <clears throat> Yuri, please. I can't even say this. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are you showing a horse? We will adjust the screen for a moment. <laughs> oh, God. Even the game realized they went a little too far right there. <laughs> hmm. Thank you. I was getting a little too hot under the collar right like, oh my lord. <laughs> I'm blushing, probably. Ooh, yep, my cheeks feel hot. <clears throat> All right, we will just screen for a moment. Yuri, stop! <laughs> oh, that was too much. <laughs> Even for me. Ah, Jongi Chokun. So up good, yeah. Tom Shankaji. Annyeong, nice for him. Yes, Poker Girl, yes. Oh, the bell ring. End of class. See you next class, my dear lambs. Adios. Oh, speak it Spanish. <laughs> of course, Justin clipped that. Ooh, that was that was a, that was a lot. That was a lot. Okay. Uh we're going to start saving there. Uh, all right, that will be it for today's stream, you guys. Mm -hmm. I uh, I don't think my heart can take much more, and it's already been two 손님, hours. 이거 놓고 가셨어요. So thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Oh, Coco, no, you just got here. Oh no! And here I was talking about you earlier. There was some moments I was like, oh, Coco would be lusting over Shinbi with me if she was here. But thank you, Street Skater, for coming out and for subscribing. Thank you, Justin, for the bits. Thank you guys so much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, Coco, I hope you'll enjoy this episode when you watch it on YouTube later. Oh, it had some, uh, some really good uh, moments. <laughs> really good. All right, so until next time. Have a good night, or morning, whatever time. Have a nice day. <laughs>